Britons. Will it be France? Here come the winners, and it will be gold for New Zealand for Eric Merry and Hamish Bond. They have their reward for all that work down the years. After all those world titles, he now has an Olympic gold to add to the collection. Today we're cooking salmon coated with feta and a side of asparagus and garlic chips. We've been rowing together now close on 10 years. You know, we're coming up to, to being 10 years in the crew together and, and Hamish and I have been in a four together uh, since 2006 and then came together in the pair since 2009. And um, yeah, we've had a, had a great ride, had some great learning experiences, um, culminating in quite a few world championship titles and Olympic gold medals. We've rode in the singles a little bit, um, but we've predominantly, for New Zealand, we've been in the pair, as Eric said, since 2009. We still use the singles as a training tool every once in a while, um, but most of our time is spent together. The approach you have to different boats is slightly different, and there's combinations and there's ways that different things work. A single is, You've got to be really technically good, you've got to be really fit, you've got to have an element of strength because it's just you and the single trying to go as fast as you can. If you get with a whole lot of other people, like an eight, you've got guys there that just are there for raw power. The pair itself, um, there's physics and stuff involved with that more than anything else because I sit in the bow seat and Hamish is in the stroke seat, so I've got the leverage over him. So if I decide to try and go harder than what Hamish can, we're effectively going to go sideways, which doesn't uh, is not very good for the boat, and it's not going to propel us forward. And um, it is detrimental to to wanting our boat to go fast. Uh, winning the gold medal in London, in all honesty, uh, uh, probably the principal emotion was relief. Uh, we went into the games as uh, favourites. Um, we hadn't lost for four years leading up to um, the final. I think we were paying a dollar and three cents. We were actually the, the odds on, we had the shortest odds out of any competitor at the Olympic Games. I think going into a big race, you're always going to be nervous, and we were nervous going into the Olympics, or I was definitely nervous. I assume you was, was still nervous. Um, and you can't really get away from it. It's just about whether you let it work for you or against you, I guess. If, if you can turn it into a positive, then you know, we try and look at it as if, if you're nervous, you're only nervous because you care. And if you weren't nervous, it probably means you don't care about the result enough. Generally, if I come back from training, um, if it's not a pasta meal, which you can just chuck in, in the pot, boil it up, throw in a sauce, and then you know have some sort of protein, like a fish or a chicken or some steak, um, you know, I love roast potatoes, you know, it's such an easy meal and you can get that ready while you're, you're doing other things around the place and it's literally just throw the veggies in the oven, um, you know, peel some, uh, peel some carrots, put them in with a little bit of honey, you know, and then cook up a steak or some lamb chops and just real quick, easy meal. Uh, when I first met my wife, I actually tried to somewhat impress her, but I was only, oh, what, I must have been 20 and, and hadn't, I'd been out of home for a couple of years, but had some really good flatmates, uh, female flatmates, I must admit, that did the majority of the cooking for us. So I was sort of going out on a limb a little bit, and I, I thought I was doing all right and whipped up a stir fry, but it turns out that Lizzie's culinary um, experience and skills were a little bit beyond the black bean sauce um, out of the sachet packet. At the moment, having a, having a toddler, um, you know, Zach's four and he's so energetic, and. There's just so much to do with him and nowadays when I'm not rowing I'm at home and I'm playing with him or doing stuff with my family and, and it is a precious time. Um, you know, I, we spend two to three months away every single year so when I'm back there's two to three months to make up for the time that my wife had to look after him 24-7. The goal for Rio is to win. Um, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it in any particular way, but the fact is that because we haven't lost a race ever in the pair, we want to go there and win again. The um, there's a lot of work to, to do between now and then. People see us on the dice and they go, oh, well, those guys, those guys are great, you know, they won another championship. But they don't see the, 
the 11 months of work that is involved into getting to that position. And so we've only really got nine months left now to get into that um, position. And so it's about executing that properly every day from now.